The role your digital presence plays in commerce has expanded beyond facilitating research or just facilitating transactions. Websites once only played a supporting role, but now have become a leading player in the consumer's experience with your brand. So is your retail business keeping up with consumers changing needs? If not, you're losing sales. I'm Laura Corey from Shoptelligence, and I'm here to reveal the top ways digital has changed the customer journey and how you can adapt to maximize ticket sizes and grow customer loyalty through a better customer experience. The first change is really around consumer awareness. Over, during COVID, a lot of shoppers and consumers were stuck at home and consumed a lot more digital entertainment than they ever had before. In fact, many of them spent a lot more time on sites like Pinterest and Instagram for entertainment purposes, which ultimately translates into inspiration. In fact, Pinterest reports that 72% of its users are looking around on their site and don't even know they have a need until they find an inspiration that triggers a need and ultimately helps shoppers find the retailer they want to buy from and purchase from that retailer. So from a furniture retailer standpoint, the important points here are number one, the shopper is on these third party sites. So you need to have a presence on these third party sites like Pinterest and Instagram, really in an organic way, showing inspiration and displaying all of the inspirational rooms that you are able to create out of your assortment in a very natural way. And then helping shoppers discover your, uh, your content there and then pulling them through to your website. One of the important points though, is when you pull them through to your website, you want that inspirational experience to continue. And so being able to display rooms and display beautiful imagery on these third party sites, get the shopper to your site and then help them really take that inspiration and refine it into a room that they, that inspires them and gets them to tr take that inspiration and translate it, the entire room from you into a reality really helps provide a, a higher level of service to your consumers, but also helps you as the retailer organically acquire customers and then allow them to fulfill that entire room from you, ultimately increasing not only your ticket size, but enhancing the journey along the way to, to improve loyalty. So you become the first retailer they go to next. In today's world, physical and digital really are blended. Pre-COVID, one could argue that, you know, the website was first, the first storefront. And then as soon as the shopper went into the store, digital was no longer as relevant. In today's world, you have to imagine digital and physical really blending together throughout the consumer's journey. So in today's world, the, the, the consumer will start on these third-party sites, as we talked about, ultimately land on your website. But once they visit the store, they're not ignoring the website. They're continuing to use digital throughout the customer journey. And so in store, they may be price checking. They may be looking for additional information about the products. They may come to the store, look at the items they're interested in and decide not to buy, but then ultimately go home and purchase after. And so being able to engage with the shopper in a continuous way across channels at all times to allow the shopper to start in one touch point, continue the conversation in another touch point, and then resume it again in the original touch point is critical. The third aspect that's changed as digital has evolved and shopping has evolved is really the role of the sales associate. Sales associates, especially in home furnishings, will continue and will always remain a competitive advantage for a retailer. They really represent the brand and they help provide advice, value add advice to the consumer. However, how they do their job uh, has shifted and we believe those changes are permanent. Specifically pre-COVID, most shoppers would visit the website and then come into the store and the sales associate would greet them in store and, and assist there. 
However, with most research being done online prior to ever visiting a store and with consumers being much more comfortable with virtual interactions, the role of the sales associate and their mindset really needs to shift to wait from waiting for the door swings to really reaching out digitally before a shopper has ever even entered the store to interact and provide that value add assistance. Solutions like online chat, live chat as an example are great, great examples of that. Consumers are seeking assistance before they ever enter the store and training your sales associates to become comfortable with that technology, understand how to leverage that technology in, in new ways to really provide that value add advice, whether the shopper ends up coming in store or not, and being able to close the sales virtually is critical. In addition to that, uh, enabling the sales associates to provide additional value add assistance like they would in the store. For instance, walking around the store, identifying additional items that might coordinate with the item that the shopper is looking at is very difficult virtually. And so enabling them with, with, with solutions that allow them to build the ticket in a, in a virtual manner to get the shopper to also look at the item that would have been next to it in the, the, the item they're considering in store or helping that sales associate build out that whole room, just like your in-store vignettes do, is going to be important to maintaining that higher ticket value that you tend to see in store versus online. So training the sales associates, number one, to really consider an op as a digital op or a physical op is number one. Second, training them on virtual tools and how to communicate virtually effectively and do the, and do the sales process, not only the upsell, but, but the, the actual conversion virtually is going to be critical. And then third, giving them the tools to maximize that ticket size virtually in addition to in store, leveraging technologies in ways like interactive uh, inspiration boards, as an example, really helps them be able to achieve the same results, but and possibly better results, but doing it virtually. This also keeps keeps the conversations flowing so that a shopper when they engage virtually now is coming into the into the store to engage specifically with that sales associate and it makes it much more personal. And so not only is it a way to uh, a way to get the same results you're getting in store, but virtually and really expand the number of customers you're interacting with. But it's also a way to create a much more personalized and, and consumer oriented experience that the shopper really, re the shopper really appreciates. The final change that we'll cover is the role of financing. Financing has always played a, an important role in the home furnishings market with over half of transactions financed. Recent technology improvements that the finance companies have made specifically in home furnishings to allow the shoppers to pre-qualify or even apply and get approved online prior to ever visiting a store are really allowing the shopper to understand what their buying power is earlier in the process. And so this is an important point because once the shopper understands what their full buying power is, which is often more than they would have imagined, being able to leverage digital technologies and your assortment on site really allows us, companies like Shoptelligence, to create personalized dynamic bundles that fit into that shopper's pre-qualified or qualification amount to help the shopper understand not only what their, their buying power is, but also help achieve their ultimate objective of furnishing a room. So imagine a shopper is pre-qualified for $3,000 and they were thinking they could only afford a sofa and a chair. Now that they understand what their qualification is, merchandising dynamically bundles that fit into that, that $3,000 budget and allowing the shopper to really customize those bundles to ultimately furnish their entire room provides them not only with a better experience, but also the confidence to purchase and ultimately helps retailers 
it, it helps retailers increase their ticket size and provide a much better consumer experience. So while digital's role has grown in importance, it doesn't replace the store. Smart retailers are leveraging digital technologies along with in-store best practices to really create a physical and digital experience that puts the customer at the center of everything. Shoptelligence was created from the consumer standpoint. And what our company does is we create and deliver an omni-channel platform that helps the shopper not only discover items across categories, but ultimately achieve their shopping objective of furnishing a, complete, a completed room according to their taste, their style, their budget, and helping retailers merchandise in a way that is consumer-centric to help the shopper achieve that objective. Our artificial intelligence-based design discovery platform reasons like a designer to create these completed interactive ensembles that allows shoppers to discover and furnish entire rooms from a retailer rather than buying individual items. We also enable sales associates to understand all of the items that the shopper is interested in and, and, and really understand that shopper's context to make better recommendations and ultimately get the shopper not only to convert, but really to build the ticket and buy more from each retailer. Our retailers that we work with see on average a 32% lift in revenue per buyer. Some are as high as 49% incremental revenue per buyer. And we are excited to partner with home furnishing retailers that want to make the customer experience as as positive as it can be and merchandise their full assortment to not only grow ticket sizes, but create that better customer experience and get a customer for life who returns to that retailer on a regular basis for whatever their needs may be.